And then you live the free bargain, you go to heaven. Okay? Read the Bible, all right, Bo? Change your mind before it's too late. Oh, the Blue Jays passing away, man. Get yourself a Jesus hat, man. That's the real winner, man. Jesus Christ is the real winner. Jesus Christ is the victor. He overcame death, hell, and the grave. Jesus Christ overcame death, hell, and the grave. The Yankees didn't overcome death, hell, and the grave. Don't give glory to the Yankees. Give glory to Jesus Christ, man. Change your mind before it's too late. God is not willing that you would perish in your selfish lifestyle. He wants you to. He wants to know you. Do you know that God wants to know you intimately, like you can meet me today? God wants to know you. You know, but the only way you're going to know God is by repenting, because the judge won't talk to you until you humble yourself. The judge won't talk to you until you confess the plea bargain. Right, Rupert? The judge won't confess. Won't, won't talk to you until you confess the plea bargain, people. Right? Amen, brother. You gotta confess the plea bargain. You see, the judge is not gonna talk to you if you keep ignoring the fact that you're a sinner. God's not gonna be intimate with you and, and speak to you person to person unless you humble yourself and confess you're a sinner. Okay? The judge is not gonna give you mercy until you confess. Yeah, see this guy shaking his head? The word of God, he's angry at the word of God. He hates the word of God. Do you hate God's word today? Don't hate God, man. He's giving you life today. He's giving you another chance to turn. See, you're, you're, you're kind of... No, you're thinking about here, man. You have a Facebook card. Facebook. Come and be my friend. Man. Okay, it's up to you. Hell awaits you if you reject Christ. You're going to go to hell fire if you don't, if you reject the Lord. I warn you, man. God's warning you, but you keep living for you, you know, you're more worried about your cell phone than you're worried about where your soul goes when you die, you're more worried about looking gangster than you are worried about when you're going to tremble when you face God, hey guys, young gangster over there, hey, with your pants up down your legs, hey, you're not cool man, you're only cool when you give glory to God man, you're only really cool when you give glory to God bro. Jesus made the standard, not you, brother. Jesus made the standard. God created life. God said. That, that means that you don't have any say. God said. Okay? If you want it, if you want to have any say, you better submit to the one who already said. God makes the rules, not you. You know, this is a reality check for some of you people, and your God is money. Your God is affluence. Your God is living for self. You know? Don't you realize that your, your life is a vapor? That your life is here today and gone tomorrow? Do you realize that God could shut the light off of your life? Do you realize? Do you realize that you're going to stand before a holy God and give an account of your life? Do you realize that God is not some giant teddy bear in heaven shooting rainbows out of his chest? Do you realize that God is a just God? That God has to bring justice in the earth? That God is going to take vengeance on sin? That God satisfied his wrath by pouring out his wrath on, him, on himself? The Son of God, Jesus Christ, when God entered the creation as a man? And that you don't have to taste of God's wrath if you take the plea bargain? The plea bargain is Jesus Christ. You settle out of court with God and you stop worshiping and loving the world and your worldly lust, like the Oakland A's. Change your mind, man. Montreal Canadians passed away, brother. Change your heart before it's too late. You know, are you going to die living for self? Are you going to stand before God and be ashamed of your whole life? You rejected the one who gave you life? Do you realize that you didn't just come out of thin air? That God made you? That God wants to give you glory and honor in His kingdom, but you gotta live for the kingdom today. You gotta die to your own selfish kingdom that you wanna build, your own world.
worldly ambitions and lust, and you give your life to follow Christ and do His will. The only reason you don't want to follow Jesus is because you love yourself too much. You want to live for you. It's all about you. Your will is fighting Jesus' will. That's what it is. The flesh lusts against the Spirit. You need a Jesus too, sister. You know Jesus is the only way. Man, don't you see? 
I'm going to go stand before God too. I'm not better than you. God doesn't play favorites. You know, you and I get a chance, brother. We get one chance, one life to live. <laughs> live for the Christ. Live for the Messiah of mankind. Read the prophecies, man. What are you shaking your head about, bud? Is there no God? Did you come from a monkey? Huh? You came from the rocks and evolution? Give me a break. Come on, people. Use your brain. Judge yourself. Look at your life. Obviously, there's a God. Oh, Justin Bieber, he's not the Messiah. Justin Bieber's not the Messiah. <laughs> Justin Bieber's leading you to hell. Get close to Jesus Christ, man. Hey, little prostitutes that Justin Bieber makes, eh? Turns your daughters into little high-class hookers. It's the truth, man. Justin Bieber is a little pimp. That's what he is, man. He's a little pimp. He says that he loves Jesus. Justin Bieber hates Jesus. Because the Jesus of the Bible tells Justin Bieber to deny himself. Take up the cross. You think Justin wants to follow the real Jesus? I don't think so. Justin Bieber wants the potato head Jesus that you put together for yourself. And then you fool yourself right out of heaven, man. Are you fooling yourself today? Lord, Are you Lord believing in a mockers. fake Jesus to let you live however you want? That Are you reading the Bible bit? and reading the real Jesus? Yeah, we need some, you know, we need some good old fashioned markers. Are you letting the world tickle your ears? <laughs> are you letting the world tickle your ears? Satan Man. tickles your ears and tells you what you want to hear? Is that how you're living your life today? Who is your master? Who do you serve? Who's your daddy? Who did you serve today? Who's your daddy? I know who my daddy is. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is my Abba. My daddy. Okay? That's who my daddy is. Jesus Christ. I know who gave me life. Amen, brother? Come on, man. When the Holy Ghost, you come down here and preach with me, bro. Show your lady how it's done. You know what I mean? Come on, man. Represent. Represent the king, man. You don't realize, man. You spend your life on finite things that are going to pass away. You know? Remember... Thank God for the Toronto police, man. They're doing their job. Imagine we had no Toronto police. Imagine we had no law. This, this whole city would be absolute chaos, man. We have the law in place so that the law governs man. That's where the law came from, from God. God gave us his laws. We've broken the laws, you know? And God says, instead of just obeying all the bylaws that I made, give me all your heart. That's what faith is. Give me all your heart. Spend yourself on me. You know what I mean? You know, a man will love his wife to the death if his wife gives her whole life to him. If the woman spends herself on her husband, the husband will love his wife. Right? That's what God wants. He's supposed to be the husband of your soul. And we're supposed to be a spiritual bride to Christ. And you spend yourself on your man. Even when he's not, when you don't think he's right, you keep spending yourself. You know, God's going to bless the ladies when they serve their husbands. Even if the husband is wicked, God will bless you. He will honor you in eternity. You know, God makes the rules, man, not you, not me. God makes the rules. You need to get back to the rule book. You need to get back to what God said. You need to fall in love with what God said. Not just obey God. You need to fall in love with what God said. You need to see that what God said is good. Okay? God made them male and female. Okay? It wasn't Adam and Steve. It was Adam and Eve. Okay? That's what God said. If that makes you angry, that means that you love the world and you, love, you hate God. See, some people say to me, you're preaching hate. I said, no, you hate the truth. That's why you think it's hate. Okay? The truth is the new hate speech today. When you preach the truth of God's word, people hate you because they don't love God's word. They love the words of the world. They like Michael Jordan instead of Jesus. Come on, brother. You know, they love false prophets, you know, from Islam. You know, Jesus Christ is the truth, not Muhammad. Jesus Christ said, I'm the only way to God. Okay, Jesus Christ rose from the grave. Jesus Christ prophesied of his own death, and he rose himself from the grave. 